Hi, this is Henry Messino, and I am a customer engineer on the Google Cloud Platform team. Today, I am going to talk about how to use service accounts to manage SSH access to your GCE instances. So one slide for, as a little refresher. Uh, most people are probably already familiar with what a service account is. Specifically, most people are familiar with, with the top row where a service account is typically used as the identity for a VM or for an application. So when that application or VM is trying to access some resource, you need to assign roles to that service account so it has the ability to access a given resource, whether that's compute, whether that's storage, whether that's a database, whatever that be. So the second aspect of service accounts is depicted on the bottom half of this slide. And that's probably a little more, um, this aspect is probably something that most people are not too familiar with, where a service account is actually a resource. So what I mean by a resource, you can actually assign a user or a group uh, to a service account user role, which again gives them access to uh, use all the resources that server, that service account has access or has the ability to access. So again, this is, in this case, you really the resource really is the service account, and you are assigning a user or group the ability to access that service account or to use that service account. So how are we going to use that to manage um, SSH access to GC instances? So I'm going to give them a quick example and go through a demonstration. So the setup that I'm going to be showing is I have two organizations. I have hnesino.info as one org, and I have nesinos.com as another organization. And with inside my hnesino.info, I have a project called HN Host Project, and I have a VM, or I'll be creating a VM called, in this case, my-vm. And in my other organization, I have a couple users, uh, one Henry, another one James, and I basically want to set it up that only Henry can SSH into my VM and James cannot. And I'm going to use service accounts and specifically using service accounts as a resource to be able to uh, limit who has access to SSH into my VMs. So the process, which, I'll not, which is outlined on the right side, is about four steps. So the first thing I need to do is create a service account. Um, and I'll have one already pre-created so I don't have to go through that online here. Um, so I've got a service account created and I assigned it, I believe, uh, a role to read GCS buckets in, in my case. Um, that's not too relevant in this scenario today though. So the second step is to create a VM using the service account. So I'm going to create this VM and instead of using the default service account, um, I'm going to go ahead and pick the service account that I created previously. And the second part of this is that I'm going to enable OS login for that particular VM instance. And you could do this um, at the VM instance level or you can do this at the project level. In this case, I'm going to do it at the VM level. The next thing I'm going to do is, like the previous slide depicted, is I'm going to assign a specific user, in this case, Henry at nasinos.com, uh, to the service account user role of that particular, for that particular service account. Then the last step that I need to do is at the org level of hnesino.info, I need to assign OS login external user role to, in this case, all users coming from nesinos.com. And I could have made that more granular to just include Henry, but in this case, I'm just gonna set it at the org level so that all users have that role. Uh, but again, when I get down to Step three, I'm only allowing Henry to actually um, access that service account. So let's take a look at how this looks. Actually, let me just copy and paste one thing. Okay, so here we have our organization. In this case, I'm logged in the, the uh, admin of hnesino.info and I have my project called H and host project. So I'll go ahead and, and actually let me do backup and show you what I've created so far. So if I go to service accounts and I created a service account called
called re, re, re bucket objects. And if I look at re bucket objects, um, you're gonna see that, oops, you're gonna see that re bucket objects has stop storage object viewer role assigned to it. So basically you can read uh, from GCS storage. So that's my service account. And now I am going to create a VM instance with that service account. And I'll just name this my VM. And I will choose the East, make this pretty small instance. And instead of using the default service account, I am going to use the one I created previously called read bucket objects. And then I'm going to do a couple things. So because I switched the location to East, I'll have to choose that particular network. And from a management perspective, I am going to enable OS login. So in the metadata section, I'm going to enable OS login and set that to true. All right, so now my instance, I'll go ahead and create it. And that should come up in under 20 seconds. And then I will go ahead and do the, the rest of the configuration. So that is up and running already. And the next step I am going to do is go ahead and assign a user, in this case, um, Henry, to that particular service account role of that service account. So let me go back, and I this is actually, I really did this earlier. So if I go into I am service accounts, and I select the service account that I'm interested in, right here, you can see that the service account user role, and I have one user assigned to it, which is henry at casinos.com. So notice there wasn't the other user that was in my slide, James, the only one who I've assigned to be able to use this service account is henry at messinos.com. All right, so now the next step, and you can see the other ones were all kind of inherited uh, from project owner and other, other roles that, in, that inherit this particular permission. So now that I have that, the next step is at the org level, so let me go to the HTCL info org, go to IAM, and what I have done here is basically added Messinos.com. So any users in the Messinos.com domain, I have assigned the role of OS login external user. So this means that someone, so this, my current org is HTCNO.info, and I want to allow someone to SSH into my instances who belongs to a different organization, in this case, Messinos.com. And I could have made this granular, and I could have said this is only going to be Henry at Messinos.com, uh, but in this case, I just made it for the whole domain, Messinos.com. All right, so now, the last step is if I log in. Um, so here, I'm logged in, and let me refresh this. So here I'm logged in under Henry at Messinos.com and over here I am logged in under James at Messinos.com. So again, since I only associated Henry at Messinos.com to the service account user role of that service account, then I should only be able to SSH from, from Henry. So here, I'm going to go ahead and try to SSH. And it's going to establish my SSH connection. And I can run some gcloud commands. So here, it's just like uh, when I'm SSH, now I'm under the identity of that service account. 
so it has read access to buckets. So if I did something like gsutil list gs uh, mo buckets, if I did another command like a gcloud uh, compute. instances list I would expect that I wouldn't be able to do that because this service account does not have that capability all right so that failed as expected so now on the right side, again, this is now logged on under james at messinos.com. And if I try to SSH into my VM, um, we should uh, not be able to. And I think actually what will happen is it'll actually just time out and not give us a very friendly error message, uh, which I will take up at Google, but we will not be able to SSH in. All right, so now we're kind of hit this retrying, and it's basically eventually going to time out, and at the end it's going to say you don't, you're not, you do not have the abilities to SSH into this machine. So it has worked as expected. I configured, uh, I configured my access where only Henry has access to has the ability to. Um, use that service account which was used to create that VM and therefore Henry can SSH in to that particular VM instance and another user inside Nessinos.com does not have that capability. Hope this was helpful and uh, thank you and I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.